I have to be honest with you guys, I was very skeptical of Cooler Master delivering on their promises with the MM710. We even trolled them at Computex by bringing a scale to their booth and measuring the weight. But since its arrival to my mouse mat, I'm happy to report it has not left. Alright, so I have three pieces of good news for you. Number one, the MM710 is available to purchase today for $50, so this is no longer on the pre-order, and I'll leave links below. Number two, it is an awesome alternative to the glorious model O- that some people might find too small, as the MM710 is wider, and it's definitely more accessible and affordable than the overhyped Final Mouse Ultralight 2. And for number three, Today's video sponsor, Privacy.com, keeps your mind at ease from credit and debit card theft with the use of their virtual cards so you never share your personal info when making purchases online. More on that later. So if you're looking into the MM710, you're probably interested in that super light form factor, and this thing is only 53 grams, and I think it would definitely give you an advantage for FPS games, and you probably want something small too, as this is one of the smallest mice in my collection. Now I am coming from the Model O, and that thing feels like an elephant now, but a more appropriate size comparison is the G Pro from Logitech that is about the same length and width at its widest point as the MM710. It is a very comfortable shape for my hand size with not too aggressive top curve, so it doesn't feel too flat, and for my hybrid grip, everything just feels well in place, and despite the ambidextrous shell, the thumb buttons are only for the right hand. It does come in four colors, but those are not available just yet, and to keep the weight as low as possible, there is no illumination. Now, in comparison to the Model O- that is the same price at 50 bucks and just slightly heavier, you do get that awesome side and interior light spill, but to be honest, I'm really into this whole matte black set for my desktop, and because of the exposed nature of the shell, internal components are coated for protection, against dust and moisture. I do want to address some build quality concerns from the early units, so the primary buttons right now uh, still exhibit a little bit of wobble, but not as severe as before. It looks like the side shell has been reinforced because pressing into them no longer activates the side switches. But unfortunately, that internal rattle that everyone else also has experienced is still present on my retail unit. I have no complaints on button placement or feel, the scroll wheel is excellent with defined steps and light middle click, the DPI shift is tucked away from accidental presses, the thumb buttons have satisfying tactility and softness when pressed, and primary switches have that fast travel that feel really similar to my Model O, so excellent all around. The feet are white PTFE with super smooth glide. This is smoother than my Model O, the Razer Viper, or the G Pro. While the cable is their Ultra Weave cable for wireless-like feel, it is awesome. And finally, the sensor is a Pixar 3389. So you have seven DPI levels at 100 DPI increments with two lift-off distance adjustments and surface calibration in the software. And I've had nothing but pleasure using this in games and Initially, yes, it was a bit too light as I'm coming from a much larger Model O at 67 grams, but the 53 gram body kind of became part of my hand for easier crosshair navigation and just felt really natural to use to stay on target and apply uh, whatever aim correction. Shot. Killing spree. And the only reason why this might not be a good fit for you is if you find it too light and you prefer something heavier to give you a little bit of extra stability when you aim. And if also the shape is somehow not for you, it's either too large or doesn't accommodate your grip well. And I'm actually quite surprised at how similar this thing feels to my G Pro from Logitech and just how uncomfortable the Model O- feels 
in comparison to the MM710. Now, the good thing is the MM710 is available to purchase today, and it's relatively inexpensive at only $50, while today's sponsor, Privacy.com, is actually a free service that creates virtual credit cards for online merchants like Amazon, Netflix, iTunes, and others, so your real credit and debit cards stay protected in case of breaches from those online merchants. Setting up a card is no hassle at all with a handy spend limit customization for each card, so you don't worry about canceling a subscription or changing a card in case one of them gets hacked. Plus, you get notified if the card is used elsewhere. The service is free, it's encrypted, and comes with a handy Chrome extension, so visit privacy.com slash hwc to get your $5 credit on your first privacy purchase. That is privacy.com slash hwc. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to be notified when the epic battle between the MM710 and the glorious Model O- minus comes out. Make sure to check out this other visual goodness. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.